Eight substantive ministers and 11 deputy ministers have not taken office due to the hold-up on the approval process. That being a direct consequence of the turf war between the president and parliament over the anti-LGBTQ bill. Injunction motion on notice seeking to restrain the speaker from proceeding with the vetting and approval of the names of the persons submitted by His Excellency the President until the provisions of the Constitution are satisfied. In the light of this process, the House is unable to continue to consider the nominations of His Excellency the President. As Parliament is on recess, a process has to be triggered to get the House back in session to approve these nominees. This is set out in Article 1123 of the Constitution. Order 53 of the Rules Book of Parliament gives similar indication as to the process required to trigger a recall of the House. In view of the numbers in Parliament, not less than 42 signatures are required to get the Speaker to recall the House to consider this business. If the House is constituted to approve the nominees, a skillful display of parliamentary collaboration and cross-party support will be required. This is because, with the demise of the late Ejusso MP Dr. John Kuma, the majority and minority in Parliament have the same number of MPs. A vote that results in a tie will be deemed as lost. With just a simple majority required to pass the ministers and deputy ministers designate, the job of the government whips and the opposition benches is clearly cut out. Tukman Topoku, TV3 News, Accra.